So this piece is called Net Over Celluloid. It's been made over a series of hours, over a series of months. And what it basically constitutes of is an inscription on the surface of handmade paper. So the process started by taking pages from sacred texts, deconstructing those paper fibres, then reconstructing them together, so this is different pieces of pages from different books, together into one piece. Once that piece has been formulated and dried, it's become its own sheet of paper. But with that, it's been an imperfect sheet of paper. So it's very much got a terrain, it's got a landscape. So the next part of the process was very much about inscribing on the surface itself. The surface, as I said, was imperfect, is imperfect, it's got a terrain, and with that the inscription has to adjust and go over that terrain. So with that, the initial idea of the inscription came about by a vision of an intricate interlaced pattern, a bit, a bit like a labyrinth. So thinking about this quite perfect interlaced pattern that's intricate, when, it's, when I then try to apply that imagery, that really, I guess, vague imagery that came through onto this surface, it hasn't helped but to be influenced by that surface. So there's been a kind of a three, um, three part process to the actual inscription. There's been the Indian ink, which is drawing over the surface and through a series of micro decisions, that labyrinth has taken form. Once that uh, Indian ink part has been completed, which is covering the entire sheet, what I've then done is I've then illuminated it with emulsion gold paint, which is just something you can, you know, you can pick up you know, in, in the local DIY store. But what it's, what it's attempted to do is to try and separate the paper from the, the inscription. So once, once the, the gold had been finished, I then went through a process of trying to uh, reawaken the paper behind, but as well as that, push that back. So what I've done is I've created these circular shapes, which I've then systematically placed over the page and tried to create a sense of movement. So from that, I then added pigment on to, into those shapes and tried to give it some depth. So this piece has very much been about working in between, working on top, and then working behind. So it's been a it's been a layered process, and then whilst the, whilst you observe it, you can't help but move your attention from the surface to the perceived back and the actual back. And then I've finally framed the piece, which has then added another element of depth, which has pulled it out even further. It's made the paper itself the focal point again, and very much um, brought into attention the materiality of the paper itself. 